Hello, this is Ryan with Fortress Grand, and today we're going to be going over the difference between the All Groups Baseline tab and the Individual Groups Override tab. To see these, we'll go ahead and click on any option, such as Fortress 101 Security, and that'll bring up its property window, and at the top you can see the two tabs. By default, it goes to the All Groups Baseline Security tab. That's because anything done in here will apply to all users in your environment. That's generally how you'll want to set things up. But let's say you have a group of students or a group of computers that you want security to be different for. That's when you'll use the individual group override. So let's demonstrate that really quick. Say you have a lab called Lab 21 and you do not want security to be active in that lab. So we'll go ahead and click our groups down here and we'll select Lab 21. Lab 21 is already separated from everybody else. So we'll go ahead and click on Fortress 101 security again. We'll go to the individual group override because we want things to change just to this group. We'll select the override baseline security for this group because, again, it's not going to apply to all groups, just this one. And we'll go ahead and disable security. After we do that, we'll apply it. We'll hit OK. We'll go to File and Save. And now just Lab 21 has security disabled while the rest of your users in your environment are still running with security. That's the difference between the tabs, and check back to the YouTube page for more videos later. Thank you, and goodbye.